Hi everyone. Today let us consider some basic concepts on trigonometry. If we consider the word trigonometry itself, in that if we consider TRI, that means three, and if we consider gono, that means gonia, related to angles, and if we consider the word metric related to measure. So all these words are Greek words. So if we combine these together, we are getting the word trigonometry that means measure of angles of the triangle. Let us consider a triangle. Triangle ABC. It is a right angle triangle. Right angle at B. If we consider angle C as theta, then the side opposite to right angle is called hypotenuse. Side adjacent to angle theta is considered to be adjacent side and the side opposite to theta is considered to be opposite side. Under trigonometry, there are six trigonometric ratios. First one, sine of the angle theta. That means it is the ratio of opposite side divided by hypotenuse. So sine theta is equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse. Next, Cosine of the angle theta, we call it as cos theta, that is equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. Adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. Now if we consider tangent of the angle theta, we call it as tan theta. And it is the ratio of opposite side by adjacent side. It is the ratio of opposite side by adjacent side. But this tan theta can also be written as sine theta by cos theta. Now let us consider three more trigonometric ratios which are just the reciprocals of sine, cos and tan. They are called as cosecant theta. We call it as cosec theta. It is the reciprocal of sine theta. Therefore, cosec theta is equal to hypotenuse by opposite side. Next, we will consider the reciprocal of cosine angle named it as secant theta. So we consider it sec theta as it is the reciprocal of cosine theta can be written as hypotenuse by adjacent. Finally, let us consider the reciprocal of tan theta that is called cot theta. It is equal to reciprocal of tan means adjacent by opposite. So adjacent side by opposite side gives cot theta. So we consider six trigonometric ratios sine theta, cosine theta, tan theta, cosec theta, sec theta and cot theta. Now let us move on to some trigonometric values for some fixed angles. For example, 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. If we want to calculate sine of 0, sine 0 is C. Sine 30 is 1 by 2. Sine 45 is 1 by root 2. Sine 60 
is root 3 by 2 and sin 90 is 1. Now, if we consider cos of the angles, cos 0 is 1, cos 30 is root 3 by 2, cos 45 is 1 by root 2, cos 60 is 1 by 2 and cos 90 is 0. Now, if you observe from the table, as the value of theta increases from 0 to 90, value of sine also increases from 0 to 1. Therefore, sine function is an increasing function. Similarly, as the value of theta increases from 0 to 90 degree, cos of the angle decreases from 1 to 0. So, cosine function is decreasing function. Now, let us consider tan of the angles. To calculate this, we need to divide sine value by cos value. So, tan 0 is 0. Tan 30, if we divide these two values, we will get 1 by root 3. Tan 45, divide these two values, we will get 1. Tan 60 is root 3 and tan 90 is 1 by 0. Something by 0 is infinity, that means indeterminate. And as we all know, we find it very difficult to remember these values at a stretch. So, to remember these values, let us use one technique that is finger technique. Now, let us use finger technique to remember these values. For that, first let us assign the angles to the particular fingers. 0 degree. 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree and finally 90 degree. To the small finger 0 degree, to the ring finger 30 degree, to the middle finger 45 degree, to the forefinger 60 degree and thumb 90 degree. Now let us consider sine 0. Before calculating that, remember one thing, if you want to calculate the sine value, you have to move clockwise. If you want to calculate cosine value, you have to move anticlockwise. I will repeat it. If you want to calculate sine value, move clockwise. If you want to calculate cosine value, move anticlockwise. Now, let us start. If we want to calculate sin 0, consider small finger. To the right of that, you have to count the number of fingers existing. Here, there is no finger right of small finger. Means right of 0. So, value of sin 0 will be root 0 by 2. You have to remember the concept that to calculate all the angles, Denominator will be always 2 and numerator will be root of the number of angles we are getting. So, value of sin 0 is now 0. We can verify that with the table. Similarly, if you want to calculate cos 0, now start counting. This is 0. So, to calculate cos value, you have to move anti-clockwise. So, to the left of small finger means to the left of 0 how many fingers exist 4 so cos 0 is root 4 by 2 that means 2 by 2 equal to 1 so verify that value with the table so cos 0 is 1 now if you want to calculate sin 30 sin of 30 degree that is with the ring finger. So, to calculate sine value, we have to move right side of the angle. So, to the right side of 30 degree, only one finger remains. So, value will be root of 1 by 2. That is 1 by 2. And check this value with the table. Sin 30 is half. If we want to calculate cos 30, then... 
To calculate cos value, we have to move anti-clockwise from 30 degree, that is from ring finger. So count the number of fingers to the left of ring finger, 1, 2, 3. So value will be root 3 divided by 2. Now let us move on 45 degree. So sine 45. Consider the finger which indicates 45 degree that is middle finger. To calculate sine value move to the right. To the right of 45 degree we have two fingers. So we will get root 2 divided by 2. But we know that this 2 can be written as root 2 into root 2. That is root 2 by root 2 root 2 so that 1 root 2 get cancelled remaining value will be 1 by root 2 now if we consider cos 45 to the left of middle finger again two fingers exist so it will be root 2 by 2 so we will get 1 by root 2 again now let us consider 60 degree to get the value of sine 60, consider the finger indicating 60 degree that is 4 finger. To the right of 4 finger, 3 fingers exist. So, value of sine 60 is root 3 by 2. If we consider cos 60, calculate number of fingers to the left of 60 degree that is only 1. So, it will be 1 by 2. And finally, let us consider 90 degree. Consider sin 90. So, thumb indicates 90 degree. To the right of 90 degree, 4 fingers exist. So, it will be root 4 by 2, that is 2 by 2, that is 1. So, from the table, sin 90 value is 1. Similarly, cos 90. To the left of 90 degree, no fingers so, it will be root 0 by 2, 0. So, from the table, value of cos 90 is 0. So, in this way, we can easily remember the trigonometric values related to 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, 0 degree, also 90 degree.